what's up you guys you're watching Sergio secrets before i get started with today's video if you can please give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe button everything that i'm wearing including what i buy and i also find a lot of great sell links will always be in the description box so always make sure to check it out and today we are going to be doing some shopping i don't think it's enough to be one vlog so i will continue it throughout the next couple of days and i'll just probably put them all in one to the trace secret to finally do all my exchanges so i called and they can finally do all exchanges so i have all the stuff right here um some stuff i just have to exchange out with size go to tj maxx but i'm actually my friend and i are going to be going swimming today so i think i want to prioritize that a little bit more I didn't have the hood or anything that i was looking for so honestly i wasn't really impressed with the stuff that i bought it was a hoodie from the victory secret line and then they have all these kind of like clothes i remember when they came out with these the little skirts and look at all these fuzzy things imagine wearing these right now in the texas heat I think I'm going to be exchanging them out for just core leggings in size 4. You can never go wrong with the classic black leggings. These are more the, like the loungewear version. They're not the kind of workout version. But I don't really need a shopping bag. They have like little joggers and stuff. But for me, I don't know. I'm already buying a pair of great joggers. I feel like I don't need it from the Victoria's Secret line. So semi so sale has started. They don't really have a lot for semi annual. So like I said, like last time, they usually had more, um, you know, it's usually in one section, but they spread everything out because I feel like they don't want everybody to go kind of crazy and kind of go nuts. Um, I found these, I bought these, like two of these, like a couple months back and I really liked them. So they're $4.99 and I mean, you can never have enough body wash. Super lightweight. They don't. They think. I think they're trying to listen back. Their branding isn't everything. And like how these are just kind of cute. Okay, guys. I was good. I was organized. I had all my stuff together. And now we're off to go swimming. Bye. Thank you. So where I'm shopping right now is the South Lake kind of town center. And I really like that it has a lot of shops that even like Dallas doesn't have. So they have like a Travis Matthew. There's a Prava Pel Peloton, a Warby Parker. They even have a Blue Mercury. They have like a lot of stores. They have a Orange and Boutique, a Lox Loxitan, a Vans. And we have a really pretty, like this Apple store is, ab they just remodeled it. It's absolutely gorgeous. They have a Madewell, they have a J. Jill. They have here is a flagship Sephora as well. And it was actually the, they, they got a flagship Sephora before Dallas got one, from my understanding. But they even have a J Draper James, which is, um, I always forget her name, Reese Witherspoon's line. They have a pretty decent Michael Kors full line store, a Pandora. They have a really pretty Kendra Scott boutique here as well. Like they have a pretty decent, they have a Seven for Mankind and a little bit more other shops. And I just like that it kind of, it's a very chill vibe is what I like. Is that you can come here, do your kind of little shopping, especially here, like let's say on a Sunday afternoon. Her outfit is cute. I have a full price coach boutique and there goes the Kendra Scott. It's a really pretty store. I bought in jewelry from there before. A Johnny was, a J. Crew, but like I said, this Sephora is massive and the selection that they have is absolutely crazy. Hopefully one of these days in the summertime I can come and do like a little full shopping vlog here. And there's also the Nordstrom Rack here in South Lake is also really, really good. And the anthropology, like the selection and just how chill the vibes are, I really, really like. So right before I leave today, because I don't think I'm going to be doing any more kind of shopping vlogs or anything, I'm wearing my Tom Ford men's sunglasses. 
my Uniqlo tops. I always get asked where are my basics from Uniqlo. They're under $20, but they hold up really well for me. I'm so picky when it comes to a lot of my items, and they hold up really well. I'm wearing my Scuba Veronica Beard Blazer. I like that it kind of cinches me in. I'm wearing some Beja sneakers. And the back, the que estoy usando ahora, is mi Troy Birch Walker. Like, estoy tan enamorado con esta bolsa. Va con todo. You can dress it up, dress it down. Y también, soy enamorado con mi carteras. At first, I thought I was going to have problems of, like, kind of the card sliding off. But since this is kind of more of a grainy leather and it's not really soft, I don't know, siento que se va a caer nada. Even if I wear this like a year from now, I feel like I wouldn't have any issues as long as I don't overstuff it, which on the last one, I have it stuffed with two cards. But as long as I don't put over like two or three cards, I think I should be fine. But it'll see. So far, so great. I really like it. As you can see, there's still plastics on my on the feet of the bag. I'll show you what I got from Victoria's Secret. Um, is it just me or like, I like to wear a mask out in public. Like almost everybody that I saw in the store, other than the employees, they were all not wearing masks. And for me, I don't know, like I, I like to wear a mask out in public, at least for now, because I'm in contact with children. I'm in contact with older people. So for me, I just feel like it's my responsibility to wear a mask out in public, even though if I don't want to, it's not an option for me. It's something that I do for other people. So at least for the time being, that's how it's going to be like. So I ended up picking the Victoria's Secret little leggings. Like I love this great color. I like how like the behind kind of cups you. They're really pretty. I have another pair and I just wanted another gray one. I'm not getting the leggings because they wouldn't even exchange it out, which is totally understandable because it's, exact, it's not the exact same item. So I ended up using that credit towards these little jogger pants, which I think are so adorable. So I got that. I got the leggings the jogger a uh, bombshell perfume as a gift for somebody and then i and, and then i got these so i ordered two of these like a couple months back from the website and i just now finished both of them right now i'm using an honest company body wash that i actually really like but i i mean they're 4.99 and i know that i am going to be using them i've been trying to stop buying stuff that i'm not going to be using but i know those body washes like i said i already used two of them so i feel like i'm going to use them and yeah so that's all i bought from victoria's secret but i bought for as far as semi annual so there was nothing really that kind of spoke my eye or something that i like that i was like oh my god i have to go out and buy everything was just kind of meh and it's because they haven't gotten inventory so which is totally understandable so i think for the first time like in a long time in a very very long time I haven't really bought any SAS items except the body washes and if I see maybe like a couple more I may buy them and I may stock on them because they're 4 dollars and I think that's a really reasonable price and I know I should be getting a $30 angel award pretty soon so if I go to a store that has like six of them they'll literally be free so ooh, I cannot wait to get that angel award but other than that um, that's going to be enough shopping for today and I'll see you guys on another day where we'll go shopping I just thought you know I don't want to let any shopping opportunities go to waste because I know you love it when I take you guys so um, yeah I'll see you on another day What is up you guys? So it's back another day. Um, so you saw me kind of going shopping at uh, Victoria's Secret. Now it is another completely different day. Today is Tuesday and we are in front of a TG Maxx that has runway in Fort Worth, Texas. I personally have never been to this one, but I was kind of like in the moody. So I'm here, so we'll see what we have. So if you saw my TG Maxx video, which I'll insert right here, it's the one where I bought basically like this theory shirt. I bought a Vince trouser, I bought theory hoodie, and then I bought a Vince polo. So I kept all the items except the pants just because they were more legging material. So I have those to return or hopefully to exchange out. And yeah, I love this top so much. You'll see me kind of wear it because I'll give you like a little outfit of the day. And these are my new glasses that I got from Givenchy. I got them from Nordstrom. They were 60% off and then in store they were doing extra 25% off. Everything that was, I guess was like a hard markdown. So I got these for about like $100, maybe like a little bit more. Personally, like when I saw them, I really liked them. But for me, I felt like they're too trendy. Like I feel like there's a lot of glasses that I kind of go through through a cycle. I have so many pairs of glasses. But I asked some of my friends, so what do you guys think? I like the flat top because I have the Celine ones, but I have one on my profile picture on my um, YouTube. I just haven't worn them. I feel like they're a little, they look good in pictures, but for every day, I think they're a little bit too much. So I think these ones were good. They have kind of like this kind of pill gold kind of GB3 detail. And yeah, so I'm here at this runway. I don't know where else we're going to be shopping at today. We'll go here and I think there's the 
Burlington Coat Factory. We'll go there. I was doing some trips now. I'm trying to see what cities are safe to go to. Um, because if you guys didn't know, I had some trips planned out before you know what happened and you know I, I wanted to do a lot of solo traveling this year so right now i'm planning to see what cities are safe to go to what shopping centers outlets because um the reason why i'm going now is because i felt like in my london vlog i kind of experienced it more for myself but now that i got kind of the hang of it i want to go in film shop like if let's say we go to new york city I want to do a whole like shopping off price in the city and then we'll do a whole Woodbury Commons vlog or maybe a two-parter because there's so many freaking stores that could probably be like a three-hour video I want to do like a whole shopping at the Nordstrom flagship a whole Saxon Avenue flagship a whole Burdorf Goodman or Hudson Yard you know what I mean there's just so much different places that I want to do vlog 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 and then just put them out every single week or like twice a week so that's what I'm looking for right now I think I may go to Chicago um, so I can go to Michigan Avenue, I can go to their off price, I can do through all like the big demon markets that's there. I thought about going to Chicago, I may want, I wanted to go to DC for a while, so we may go to DC or like Miami, but I'm not really sure. Right now I'm really planning a lot of the trips. I do have one kind of confirmed trip right now, but yeah, let me know what type of city you think I should go to, what's worth it, because I do want to go out and film and shop and vlog, go and see what they have here at this TT Max here in Fort Worth, Texas. I feel like I've gotten really the hang of vlogging now, like on my camera, because I feel like even like six months ago, I wasn't the best, or even like two months ago. This one's very limited on what they have. It's very kind of naked. It looks definitely a little picked over. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my multi pochette. I told you that the shirt would look a lot better. It's a little wrinkled because, you know, driving. But I really like how the back looks like that. My classic mother jeans that I got from Nordstrom Rack about like three weeks ago. I got them for $30. And my Valentino sneakers that I got around Christmas for $200. So everything I got technically on sale, including my Michelle watch and this ring. They have some Vince shoes right here. They have these ones right here. These ones are like a little sandal. Hey, hon. Mm -hmm. That's, <laughs> that's cash. I know. Anyone can use this. Thank you. I think you're welcome, subscriber come up to me. She, and that's really crazy, guys. Very lovely. I didn't get her name, but she was super nice. I was literally looking at the shoes and she literally stopped me. She's like, are you Sergio? And I'm like, yes. And so I wanted to give her a hug. I want to give people hugs, but uh, I just, and you know what I realized too? That I left my mask in the car. So probably people are looking at me crazy. No, I don't have one in my bag. And so she came up to me and she said, hi. Like I said, usually I'm like such like a touchy person. Like, oh, I want to have a hug, whatever. But you know, it is what it is. But they have two long shot bags, these Valentino shoes a chloe drew for 3.99 this stod bag i've actually been into stod bags so i want to see how much this is i kind of want to take a look at that stod bag they have a frame belt they have some toy birch sunglasses a chloe drew and this one's 3.99 and they have some eyewear collection as well. I tell you guys every single time, if you guys see me out and about, always say hi. Um, I can get a little awkward sometimes, but that's just my personality. I'm more of an introvert, is that how you say it? I'm not really like, you know, crazy wild person as it, some people may think. All these theory dresses for $70 from 365. But it's not all, it kind of, you know, curves in like that so i feel like this would flatter a lot of people this is such a beautiful dress it's really great material i you know you always like theory then a classic t-shirt dress and then this one right here is 60 dollars from 190. see i feel like really i don't know okay. these vince pants so these are the ones that i basically bought i wonder how much they are here so these are the ones i'm returning 
they were just a little bit oh they're 60 dollars here but i got them for 30 but they're just a little too they're a little too thin like you can kind of see everything so i want to make sure that they're all appropriate then we have this i feel really bad i should have worn my mask but i literally have three of them in my car 65, 60. Theory trousers, blue, 60. Another runaway store. That's a really good price. That's like 90% off. Pretty these Veronica Beard jeans are. I didn't even know that they carried Veronica Beard. They, they retail for 235 but they're 44 but I didn't even know they carried chronic the beard. Ugh, the colors of everything. But they're a size 25. And they don't seem to have much of a stretch. Oh, actually they do. So we'll see. Normally I don't like the buttons like that, but the sh this color of shade of uh, blue I really like. Give them a wrong hem, and I feel like they'll kind of be me. But we'll see how those buttons will fit. This is really pretty, this color. They have more of these dresses in here. 120. This is such a pretty lightweight Tory Burch dress. Really pretty, nice linen material, $70. From $365, I believe. $375. Now this is pretty. But it's an extra, extra small. This is cute too. I just love white tops. I feel like for me, white tops is like the new kind of black t-shirt for me. It's a little too small. So here's that same top that I'm actually wearing that I got from the other one. And it's in the same size too. And I really like the cinching on the back. Like, I feel like this is, like, something you could always have forever, you know what I mean? When you get kind of core items, it's something that you can always use a lot. So, for me, I was kind of, I actually was contemplating on buying an, another one if I saw it. But, I mean, I mean, when you look at it, it's a good price. I'm going to wear it all the time. I like the buttons. I like the fit. I always struggle to find nice, white-fitted shirts that I like. So I feel like that one would be such a great staple to have. Vince pants, and I've also been wanting like camel pants, like in a tone that I'd like. See, maybe something like this is a little too, like not the color, more like of a tanny color. It's more of a khaki type color, but it's super thick. The material seems really nice on it. I found another one of these. Yeah, I'm definitely taking this. This is kind of like a core item that I could always have. You know, I, I kind of have like the same kind of style. So let's go ahead and see if these will fit. Nowhere near fit. When I put them around my neck, <laughs> I, so, I still need like this more much fabric. So that's a no, but I'm gonna put this blouse here just because I don't want <laughs> to forever, somehow get it dirty with this because then I would be so sad, but yeah, and then white shirts always get kind of like, I don't know, you always kind of have to dry clean them. For me, clothes, I usually wear them a few times before I I dry clean them or I wash them. Like, if it's basics, like regular t-shirts and stuff, I'll wash them every time, but like jackets and, you know, certain, like certain pieces, you don't want to, you don't necessarily wash every single time because then the lifespan of the item is like a lot less. Oh, they carry Lafayette here. Like a full kind of section of it. So it's 75% off. Look at this bag, guys. I literally just watched a silent yeah. video about it. <laughs> yeah, I want it. Okay. I'll take that and it'll be up in the front? Yes. Okay. I can't wait to take it. <laughs> really good price. I was literally just watching a styling video on it. 
pretty. They they look very elevated for twenty dollars. They look like really great quality. I'm gonna text my mom if she wants these. These are really pretty. I have these little toy bird sandals for sixty nine, and they're size ten. Then they have these. Oh my god, that stock bag. See with a lot of good stuff, but. These are really pretty. I mean, I know that some people may say they may be, you know, Valentino dupes, but they look very high quality for the price. Made in Italy, leather for 20 bucks. Good shoes, then they have these Stuart Weitzmans for $60. Size six. Then these Lily Pulitzers, size seven, 44. You know, they may not have a lot here, but the things that they do have, they like. I'm gonna buy the same shirt that I basically have on right now. These for my mom. I already know she's gonna like them. Like for $20, guys, I told you, you can look really great. Like these look like they'll hold up pretty well. Like you can feel something. You can feel the soul. You can feel like, I mean, for 20 bucks, I mean, they look pretty nice for $20. So I normally don't buy beauty items at TJ Maxx, especially it's on clearance because you can see it's like been kind of touched. But look, they have a Bond number no. 9 perfume. Just look up the price of this and it's $2.15 for a 1.7 ounce. I mean, I love the stars. I love the bottle, but honestly, and it doesn't smell bad. It actually smells pretty good. This actually, ooh. Ooh, I don't like coming to TJ Maxx because then I, I kind of want to buy everything. I kind of want to take this home now. But I literally just bought like another fragrance, so I'm not sure. Little Toy Bridge moment. $100. I love the color of them. Next to my skin tone. Pretty. It's Anastasia Stop. Oh, Mini Map Set. And it is. Oh, missing one, $36, but the other ones are 40 Well, they also have a mini fridge too for $40. I normally don't really check out a lot of the beauty stuff, but they have pretty decent stuff for beauty. Like, pretty decent stuff. Like the, the Estee Lauder perfume Erin. Like, it's literally like a dupe for it. Yeah, they don't really have too, too much. It's a little naked in here. But it's fine. I found good stuff. That stod bag, the top, and these shoes. And a lot of fry belts for $20. So you, you can get a high quality belt. Even these John, John Barbado ones. $20. This is cute. Look how crop it is. Look at the back. AGs. sevens for 40 they have this collection that came out in the fall they're all literally $30 85% off they must have not done well at all like they have like a lot of that if you know you know here yeah, but I just think it's because they don't really it's a little picked over and they haven't gotten merchandise. TJ Maxx was a success, guys. I bought three items. I bought my Stodd bag for $59. I bought this exact same shirt because I love it so much and the exact same size. And I bought those Valentino kind of like dupies. Normally, I'm not the big dupe person, but if it's, but if I like it, I mean, I texted my mom, I was like, $20, I mean, made in Italy. They seem like they'll hold up, and I like them, and I know she would, she would wear them, so that's why I went for them. Sorry if the AC is blowing through, but this is the bag that I got. It is from Stodd. It is this transparent PVC with a little pouch on the inside. I was literally watching, like I said, a video. Um, I'll enter her channel here, but she has like a lot of nice styling videos, and um, they really get to the point, and they're not like, oh, like this, this, that. Her videos aren't really sponsored either. 
and I really like all her videos. Like her videos are very informative and I've been really into a lot of her fashion videos because of a bag from this brand. And I've heard about this brand before. I know they do ready to wear and I believe footwear as well. And so this bag says it retails for 160, but I'm pretty sure it retails for a lot more. And it was here for 80 and I got it for 59. And I thought, you know, a good kind of summer bag to kind of have. I may even take the pouch out and just carry it transparent. But we'll see how it'll go. I'll try to style it and make it work. These, oh my God, $20, guys. They feel so comfortable. They look so pretty. And then I also got the white top. Normally, I don't like plastic bags, but it'll, um, I didn't want the white to get dirty. And it's basically the exact same shirt that I'm wearing right now and the exact same size. I saw it and I just thought, you know what? I mean, I really like this white shirt. So I decided to why not have two of them and i returned the trousers that didn't fit no problem I ordered a lot of designer bags on sale so you'll see a video on that as well like a full haul where i'll show these glasses the things that i bought right now i bought some i just bought a bunch of stuff i bought a mcm bag <laughs> i bought i just i bought an mcm bag i bought a Stella mccartney i got it yesterday but it was damaged but i ordered another one so hopefully that comes great I ordered a Marc Jacobs bag. I ordered quite a bit of stuff, but you'll see that on my haul on Friday. Well, I may post this video on Friday, so you'll probably see this video on Saturday. So I changed my uploading schedule, so it's gonna be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Tuesdays and Thursdays are the days that I don't upload, but every other day I will start uploading um, videos consistently. So you can expect the video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the time being. And Guys, the layaway excluded from sale, so they're doing. I'm very shocked, guys. I did not know that they were doing the sale. Like I said, I don't normally shop here. Like I don't, I don't remember the last time I came in here. But they don't have anything. Like look at that. That is crazy. Expecting this at all, at all. Yeah, they have pretty decent stuff. All the accessories are 25% um, off. It's 50% off all these ties, all of these belts. So you can get a belt for $7.50. Ooh. I mean, right? No, $5. So this would be like $5. These are actually kind of cute. $5. And here's my sizes and shoes and all these are 50% off. That's crazy. So these having fines here, half off from 35. A little 4th of July moment here. <laughs> $12.50 for 50% off which is absolutely crazy but yeah I'm glad I came here but nothing that you know nothing kind of spoke to me 178 for seven dollars and fifty cents well this does not feel 178 worth not even 35 retail so like how cool would it be if you like lived right there <laughs> and then you live like in front of a dillard's that'd be so cool wouldn't it be so anyway or if you were like work here and you could walk so we're at the Hewlett mall now i didn't know i was going to come but it's pretty packed the sears is closing here because i saw the sign so we're gonna go into dillard's macy's sears and wherever else and after that we're gonna go to the shops at clear fork just so we can see what stores are open i'm not sure if i'm gonna get off and shop but we shall see. But so far, so good, so great. Um, I can't believe I forgot to wear my mask at TG Maxx, but I feel so bad, but I wore it at Burlington. I'm gonna wear it now. Um, this is the one that I bought. I'll try to find the link for it down below, but I really like that it's super lightweight because it has like this little material and I've washed this. I got it, there was a pack of two and I washed them and they seem pretty fine. And then the other one that I've been wearing because I get asked is um, somebody had made this one for me. So the way it works is you put it so this is the other one it's kind of green and i like it because i feel like i can breathe a little bit better on this one and i go shopping and see what they have so the 80 percent off still ended 
because now it's only 65. Mm, ew, don't really like that. Okay, we're here for sevens. We're here for lucky. Not for me, but I like it. I'm here for lucky. Okay, now I know where I'm at. So here are all the handbags. Then I'll have Kirk Biker. And then they have these furla bags. So these are new furla. And that's old furla, I guess, because like the logo. But they have Kirk Geiger here. Look at this little backpack moment. Super cute. That bag is super cute as well. 41, where are you? It's Michael Kors boots. Jessica Simpson for $15. These are my signs. They're super comfortable. I think that's what Echo is known for. Eco? Eco, Echo. They're so comfortable. These are really great shoes to walk around with. They feel more comfortable than the Valentino ones that I have. Pass that up, guys. 15 bucks, guys, for these Echoes. Now, this is a deal. That's what 85% off. Look at all yeah. these sands. I've been wanting to try these. If anybody has okay. these, let me know your honest thoughts reviews on them. I think they're just kind of a clean classic with just a little bit of the brand. Can make them work. But I may post this video instead of, I was gonna post my Neiman Marcus vlog the day I'm, this is supposed to be vlog, but I may just make this video tomorrow's video, which is today's Tuesday. And you'll probably see this on Wednesday. And then I'll just move all my other content later. Because I just see, look, they have a Joe Malone here. I definitely like to make all my videos kind of more currently, especially when there's like deals and stuff involved. When it's just like full price shopping, I, I can wait a couple days. But when it's like, that's why I like to vlog like the day before or like no more than like less than three days, just because I like all my videos to be current. You know what I mean? I don't want them to be like, a month later, or like two weeks later, small. That used to be a coach store right there back in the day. We used to those two young ladies. Oh, so it is closed. But good thing we're not here for that. We're here to go to the other two department stores. Fine gold jewelry. So getting, they carry out like a lot of furniture and stuff like that. That's, JCPenney is the one that does less of that. But if you ever been to a, Mex a Sears Mexico fire, this the Sears the Mexicos are like a million. When I tell you guys, it's nothing like it. It is. I would consider Sears in Mexico like they have Sam from Mankind. They have all the prettiest beauty counters like Dior and Chanel. Like they have so much stuff. Look at all these fixtures. Oh, they're selling all these fixtures for twenty bucks. $40 for this four-way. Oh my gosh, this for $50. That's a little pricey girl. Table for $40. This is $40. This is cute. These little tea towers for $20. bucks. 15 percent off your beauty purchase. Yeah, they carry Kate Spade jewelry, like not really a lot of exciting things. They don't even have Coach here. They only have it at Dillard's. Like, this is like, I don't know, like, I'm pretty young and I, and I like to, you know, look at merchandise and I want to shop it, but for me, like, girl, you need to hire me. Any store y'all want a renovation, anything, you know, like, this is, I know this is not like kind of like the off price backstage, but in general, when you walk into Macy's, it just does not look inviting. It doesn't look like, oh my god, like, I want to shop it. You know what I mean? I'm probably their top performing stores. Change the selection. Be more edited. 
you know, just change your selection of product. This is so cute. I always see this one everywhere. So the reason why we're here is because we have, look at this product. And it's, oh, it's $4.99 reduced from $1,000. 1,600 1, that's not the retail 1,690 is not the retail amount it's a lot less they have Juni, a toy birch some Versace like versus Versace they have a toy birch Ella's guys for $150 like my well these are more the paint ones the one that I have is the matte one and I love my matte one I have this one here. $63.97. This is $63.97. I have to get this guys. $63.97. Or so we'll see what they what they scan as. Thank you. Uh, Bloomingdale's exclusive. So I know a lot of these bags come from Bloomingdale's. Who would ever pay $300 for this? If I paid $300 or somebody gave this to me as a gift and they paid $300. I'd be pretty pissed. I'd be pretty mad. But oh my god, all these toy birch. Oh my god. Oh my god, they have a flaming girl. I didn't even see the elephant in the room. The freaking Ella. Well, I hit the jackpot. So I got two one bag and one bag. Each of them has one on one. I got the navy one and then the black one. And I think I'm gonna keep the black one and then I think I'm gonna give my mom the navy one. Or if I don't wear the one that I get, I think I'm just gonna give it to my aunt. So I literally got my aunt into Toy Birch and now that's all she wears now. She used to, she was never really like a handbag person. Like she was just, she would just wear whatever she kind of had or what she would buy, like bags off price and stuff. And then I got her into Toy Birch and now she's like, she loves like Toy Birch handbags, shoes. Like she's like, <laughs> and then I'm the one that gets it all for her. She always tells me, um, I don't know if this is like a thing like in Spanish, but like in Espanol, todos me llaman like Checo. Like, I don't know if that's weird, but like if you're, if tu nombre es Sergio, te llaman Checo. And so like, they're always like Checo. Y si siempre compras Tori, 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 la me compras, la me compras, mido un talla ocho y medio. And so like every single time I see like Tori Birch stuff on sale, or like even if it's like pretty full price, I always text it to her. Because she knows, she knows like my gusto, so she knows that. I think I, I think I like to say I have pretty decent taste. Like, I know what to look for. And she was just like, check out. There's always like, you know, the 411, you let me know and buy it for me. Like, you know, se la compre lo me da dinero. And yeah, so I guess at this point, guys, I should become a personal shopper. Porque I just keep getting all these deals, guys. And every time I see them, girl, I cannot say no to a good deal. I cannot resist saying no. Except that bond number nine perfume that I bought earlier. I had a feeling that I was going to buy something else. And I did. I bought the Tory Burch bag. So that was such a good price. Such a good deal. You can literally, like, you cannot say no to look at Cabo de Comprar. Like, that was such, such a good price. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave now. I went to all the places that I wanted to go to. And now I'm going to be going to... So let's look at the handbags at Dillard's, maybe, and then we'll go to Clear Fork just to see what they have. We are still doing 65% off all clearance for women's ready to wear. So, if you guys ever see a particular brand that you want me to shop for, like I know I got a comment saying how they wanted to look at certain brands, you can always feel free to request the brand. So, let's say if you want me, if you really love Vince Camuto. I can go and show you all the Vince Camuto stuff that they have. Or if you like Eileen Fisher, like you can always request whatever you want to see and I will fulfill them. <laughs> Look, I'm Parso Camuto. But you can guys can always request what you guys want to see and I will be more than happy to show it for you guys. I'm not really a leopard person. But this is gorgeous for people. Givenchy jewelry. The MAC Little Boutique here is really pretty, but too bad they're not doing any demos. This one has Ralph Lauren, Karl Lagerfeld, Calvin Klein, Fry. I'm not familiar with this brand. Dooney. 
We love that bright pink moment. We love that turquoise nylon -y color. Just kind of pops at you. My queen Brahmin. Where's that bag that I look at you every single time? I like you. This is a new style. My bag for six fifty. That's a little pricey. Gucci. Gucci bag. Oh, this is pretty. Foil teal. Love the bamboo detail. That dummy graffiti is pretty. Love the trunks like when you walk. Just kind of moves. I like stuff like that. And then they have all those coach bags on sale. But next time when they have the additional, you know where you'll see me. Like I wanted that one. I like this one. I like that one. Oh, I said I wanted that one. This one's pretty cute, but I really like that one. I love the color. Yeah. What they have. I don't really show Michael Kors just because I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like I don't really like this, you know. In K and K and K. It's like it's a little bit too much. Even if they took this off, I don't really like that. Not the biggest fan i don't hate people like if you like it that's fine like i said i don't judge here like you can wear whatever you want but for me it's just not my cup of tea i love coach kate tori more brands like that ferla shopping vlog for here Ooh, the backpack color is really pretty but the ferla oh especially the one on top oh here's the bottom one Look at that one, the pink on pink. That's so pretty. I don't know where I parked. I think I parked over here. And you know what the funny thing is, guys? You know what the funniest thing is? I wasn't even planning to come to Fort Worth today. I, my plan today was to go to um, Galleria, to go to the Macy's there, go into Louis Vuitton and ask for like four pieces that I'm looking for. That are always out of stock and i hear they're about to have like literally other price increase on all their canvas pieces so i was trying to get my hands on here i'll just tell you the mini push accessories the, the the one that's 365 even though i kind of have it right here in front of me um the push it accessoire uh key clay and a round coin purse and the toiletry pouch 26. Like if I can get my hands on any of those items, I will literally like buy them right then and there. But I guess we'll just save that for, but yeah. Uh, I love, love, love it. Look guys. So it looks like this. It has the top handle, it has a strap on the inside. It is nylon. It was originally 278. It was here at the off price for 200 and it got reduced two times to 59.97 it's called the Tilia slouchy satchel and yeah i bought that and then at jealous i got the eco shoes but i asked you guys that's why i always tell you guys follow me on instagram because like i post this i post all the deals that i bought on my instagram so if you always want to see what i buy real time or if i have a day off and i do some shopping i always always let you guys know when i ask for your opinions i ask for your opinions about the eco shoes and a lot of you guys said no, like a lot of you guys said no, they're kind of ugly, but I don't know. I, I thought they were really nice, comfortable shoes because I do have like a lot of shoes that are not the most comfortable. And I thought, you know what, for $15, they're fine, but who knows, I may take them back, but I like that it has a zipper. I love that it has a strap. I love everything about it. I like my stod bag. I like my other theory shirt that I bought. I think I got a print and then they gave me these reusable shopping bags. Why well, they kind of like how like, it's like kind of like cool and kind of hip, you know what I mean? Like. 
oh, like an apartment next to these shops. And so they have like a joint macaroon. Um, they should probably have more boutiques. They really don't have a lot here. But in Fort Worth, there's not really like a lot of like luxury or kind of higher end retail. There is a Kendra Scott boutique here. And there are some nice restaurants to kind of sit and kind of just see what the 411 is. Free boutique here. There's, I believe there's still that Remova boutique here as well. That's where Remova used to be at. Oh, that's such a pretty boutique. Oh my God, that's so pretty. And then there's the iconic Troy Birch boutique. You guys can see it. So that's the Troy Birch. Oh my God, it is so pretty. And they have all like the walker bags and everything. But I believe they're closed, if I'm not mistaken. And then they have a Burberry boutique as well. Super nice. Look how pretty it is. And this is the iconic kind of Neiman Marcus that they open here in Fort Worth. It used to be at another shopping center, but it's really pretty. And then they have a Tiffany boutique. Like It looks kind of like a flagship type boutique style. This is what they have here. And yeah, guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here, our little shopping vlog. So we ended up going to TJ Maxx. Burlington, we went to the shopping mall, Victoria's Secret, and like the first part of it from like a couple of days ago. And then we just kind of showed you, I showed you guys around here at the shops at Clear Fork here in Fort Worth. And yeah, I got a lot of good stuff. I got the stuff from Victoria's Secret, my exchanges. I got two Tory Birch bags. I got the Stodd bag. I got my, another uh, same shirt of my theory that I really, really like. It's kind of like a crisp top. And then I also got those kind of Valentino type dupe shoes. Everything that I kind of bought today, I will leave linked down below. Also, if I also find a lot of great sell links, my favorite items, like everything is always in the description box. I always get asked about my opinions, my thoughts and everything in between. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I have all the information down on my description box. So if you are ever interested in anything, always, always, always check the description box. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave guys and I'll see you guys on Friday's video, which is going to be a shopping vlog. Hopefully you guys like it and yeah. Bye guys. Thank you so much. Los quiero mucho y los miro hasta la próxima video.